Hey guys, welcome to the Weefster 18 channel, day 29. This is Papa Weave here, or the Chef Papa Weave. Hey guys, I got my Sunshine Kids hat, or do, do rag on, in support for all the Sunshine Kids, an organization in this country that helps kids with cancer go on uh, some nice trips. Hey guys, it's Lent. It's the month of Easter to all the Catholics out there. And I'm kind of an old school Catholic, guys. I like to restrain from meat on Fridays. So today I will be cooking fish. One of my favorite dishes, guys. One of my favorite. I've cooked it for a long time. Easy, guys. Real easy. Tastes great again. Tastes great in the end. What you're going to need is, you're going to need some salt. I have stuff cooking too. because I want to I want to show you guys the final product when I'm done. Uh, we're going to need some salt. Some pepper. Garlic powder. Garlic powder. Of course the butter. Butter always comes in. Butter always comes in. Olive oil. Beautiful. I always say that. Breadcrumbs. Some good seasoned breadcrumbs. Put the herbs in it. Oregano, parsley, Italian herbs in it. Crab meat. Okay? About six ounces of crab meat. You can get the lump meat. You can get the fine meat. I got the fine meat here, but crab meat. Oh, I love crab. Crab is one of my favorite shellfish. I love it more than lobster. Sweet. Um, of course, we're going to need a nice filet of sole. All right? You can use flounder, but filet of sole is nice. Um, I got two, uh, excuse me, I got eight fillets and I cut them in half I'm sorry four fillets uh, cut in half four fillets cut in half makes eight fillets total okay um, make sure you get some good fish some fresh fish uh, and and large size uh, fillets okay a nice baking pan all right ceramic baking pan Here, we're gonna put this in and on the side now guys on the side dish i'm going to be serving rice pilaf directions on the side very simple butter water bring to add the add the rice um add the package of seasoning and let it boil for about 20 to 25 minutes that's perfect because that's what the fish is going to take about okay also I have asparagus. I love asparagus. Okay. What I like to do too, when I get the asparagus, you get the asparagus and you just break off about maybe two inches, two inches of the end part. And you leave the nice florette and the, and the rest of the asparagus and you soak it in cold water, guys. Soak it in cold water, maybe about 15, 20 minutes every now and then dumping out the water, just getting rid of any dirt or any uh, particles in the asparagus. Okay, so I'll take them and I'll put them on a drying, drying piece of paper. All right. And now, to start the dish, what we want to do, guys, is we, got the, we have the uh, baking sheet. What we want to do is we want to take, okay, we want to take these fillets, preferably the larger ones first. Um, before that, before that, let me get a little olive oil. Coat, coat the pan or the dish with olive oil. Okay. And what we want to do now, what I was saying, take the larger fillets, place them down in the dish, coat them a little with the olive oil, place them down in the dish. Okay, we could do two at a time here, and and do the thicker part 
down on one side and then do the opposite for the for the, uh, the the side that's adjacent to it. This way, you get a nice solid, flat, even platform. Okay, so we put the two fillets down. Now we take the beautiful crab meat. <laughs> the beautiful crab meat, and we layer that. We put that on that layer of sole. Okay. Load it up, baby. Load it up. Put that all in there nice, right? Okay. Now we take take our butter. Beautiful butter. We love butter. We all love butter. I love butter. You love butter. We all love butter. And what we got to do now is you just take pieces of it, chunks of the butter, cut it into a real thin piece, and then cut that up. And just lay that right across the top of the crab meat. Don't be afraid to add the butter. That's what's going to give it great flavor. Now, we take the breadcrumbs. Sprinkle them right on top. Okay? Right on top of the old butter, crab meat, and fillets. Okay? Garlic powder. Ooh. We're going to sprinkle some garlic powder over that. Okay. Now while this is, I'm doing this here, guys, I'm going to add a little olive oil to a pan. Okay. A little olive oil. And I'm going to start frying those asparagus. Now my son, this I'm making this this dish right now for my son, my eldest son. He likes his asparagus kind of burnt or or very well done. I like it kind of quick, so it's green and it's kind of fresh and it's a little firm. But he likes it a little little darker, so we'll cook his a little more well done for him, about a medium medium to high heat. Okay, guys. Now, so we had that first layer. Basically now, we'll take the other fillets, okay, and we will repeat the process. Crab meat, crab meat, oh my gosh, look at this crab meat. Crab meat is so, so good. Crab legs, crab legs. Uh, the, Alaskan king crab. Oh, I'll have to make that for you guys one time. I make a nice Alaskan king crab legs with a nice porterhouse steak. The certain way I cook it. Oh, wow. Unbelievable. Okay, so we have, we have that second layer. Just repeating the process. Butter. All right. Crab meat, butter, more butter, more butter, more butter, probably a heart attack waiting to happen, more butter. Okay, so then we will do more breadcrumbs, okay, and garlic powder. I like garlic powder. It's easier than chopping up the garlic. And usually I put fresh garlic in the uh, asparagus. I'm just going to put a little salt, pepper, and garlic powder on that. Okay. That's cooking nice and nice and nice. Okay, so again, here we go. Just keep on adding on. Okay, keep on adding on. You're going to have a nice pile, guys. A nice pile of, of, uh, of filet of sole with the crab meat. Okay, it, this will serve one. If, if you guys aren't big eaters, you, you could share this. You could definitely share this. Um, or you know what you could do is just cut down 
on the amount of, of filet of sole that you do get. Uh, and if a little crab uh, falls over, don't worry about that. It's perfect because that'll cook in the butter, and then we'll uh, and then we'll just put that on the dish when it's fine. I'm going to show you guys the final. I know you guys have been asking for a final product, so I'm going to show you guys. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. More butter, guys. I know, I know, I know. Butter is not probably the best thing, but you know what? It tastes a heck of a lot better than something. All right, that asparagus is going nice. It's getting a little high. Maybe turn it down. All right, guys. Breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs. Okay. So that's it. So now we have two more pieces. I will top that. The last two pieces, you can actually go... You can go the opposite way. Wow, this is a mound and a half. You can go the opposite way when you're laying them down. Usually they're ver vertical. We go horizontal on the last piece. Okay. Keep stirring those asparagus because so they will burn. And again, of course, at the end, we will do two dabs of butter. I know it's a lot of butter. I would say probably three tablespoons, maybe four tablespoons. Half a stick. Yeah. Okay. And then, of course, just a little more breadcrumbs. All right, guys. Garlic powder. Pepper. Bam! I'm not going to do that. You know who does that. And salt. Okay, guys. Woohoo! Mama. You pay a lot for this in a restaurant right here. So here we go. That is the final product uncooked. All right, that's a mound. That is a mound of total heaven goodness. Okay, guys. So we have a little time here. We've got about six more minutes. Uh, this is such an easy recipe, guys. Very easy recipe. Um, Everyone, everyone, you you guys could do this. You can easily do this. And and cooking is so great, guys. Cooking is so great. You know, when I when I cook these fish or when I prepare fish, it brings me back to my childhood, guys. Back to when my family had a small boat. We fished Long Island Sound. My father and I mainly. Uh, my two sisters would go out, sunbathe, do whatever they had to do. But it brought back good memories, guys. We used to catch tons of fish. Bass, flounder, bluefish. Oh, the abundance. The abundance of, of fish. And then we cooked it fresh that night. Nothing like good, fresh fish. Uh, so it just brings back memories of good times. And that's what food does, guys. Food brings back memories. Memories of your childhood, cooking with your grandmother, your mother, your father, just going to your, your grandparents' house and, and, and those smells, those smells you relate to the dishes from years ago, how, how that brought you such happiness, go in there. So I really have to cook these, these asparagus uh, for my son. But yeah, guys, so basically... Once you have that all prepared, once you have that all prepared and you have that mound of goodness, uh, you're going to put a three, you're going to preheat a 350 oven, okay? Get it nice and hot. Let me stir the rice peel off too, guys. Okay, so you're going to have to uh, get a 350 preheated oven, nice and hot. And once that once that gets uh, preheated, you will.
put the fish in for about, I would say, to anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, and that should be a good, a good cooking time. I hope everyone's staying safe. I hope everyone's healthy out there. Uh, it, it's a terrible time, guys. Terrible time. Hope we're enjoying our families, doing stuff with our families. Like I said back in the day, back in the day, yeah, we we live right on Long. We're in Greenwich, Connecticut. We live right on Long Island Sound. And uh, years ago, I'm talking back, back in. Uh, in the 70s and early 80s, we would go out there, my father and I, we'd go flounder fishing. We'd come home with buckets, 30, 40 flounders. Oh my gosh, bluefish, we'd go bluefish. I also, I also, I also love, I also love freshwater fishing. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a trout fisher, fisherman, and I, I don't do it so much now. I play a lot of golf, but, I do enjoy, I do enjoy uh, fly fishing in the past. I tie my own flies um, and I, I fly fish in, in the fresh waters and trout. Oh, trout is another beautiful fish out there, guys. Fresh. You cook, like I said, you, you, you go, you catch it. That's the rewarding part also. You go, you catch the fish, you bring it home and it tastes that much better, guys. All right, so I think we're just about done, guys. I think I want to take it out. One more minute, one more minute. Hey guys, and don't forget, don't forget this month is on the drawing competition is the bunny rabbit so get your get your drawings in guys come on I want to see all those those awesome drawings uh, and we're gonna have fun with it and guys listen I hate to say it but we're down 80,000 subscribers uh, I know we see Weepster's not here I know it people want to see him you guys want to see him but I'm doing my best. I love you guys. I love you guys subscribing, staying with us. So please, let's get more subscribers. Have a good time and keep this channel going, guys. All right. I'm going to plate this up, guys. All right. Oh, mama, mama, me. You know what? With the fish, with the fish, I really can't do an accent. I can't do an accent. It's a universal meal. It's not specifically from anywhere. So I, I, I'm sorry. I can't do the uh, cheesy accent, guys. Anyway, I'm going to put my uh, attractive glove mitt on. Hello. It's glove wave. How are you? <laughs> wow, I need to get out. Okay, he wants it burned. He's going to get it burnt. All right, guys, so let's take this out. Woo! That's hot. But you know what? Wow. How good is this? All right, guys, so we take this out, obviously. And we'll plate it up. Okay? Now, all those drippings, like I said before, guys, all those wonderful drippings. Poor right on top <laughs> it's not Christmas yet but you guys remember that guy we take that oh look at this oh my gosh this is beautiful all right guys we'll take some of our rice peel off okay the old peel off of rice all right, take some of that. That looks beautiful. And I can get rid of my uh, 
puff it, and we will take the burnt asparagus. I don't say burnt, that's the way he likes it, it's cooked. It's cooked, well done. And guys, maybe, maybe, maybe a little more salt on the whole thing. A little pepper. And here it is. Oh, 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 mama. Wow, wow. Guys, this is beautiful. Again, on the side, you can have a beautiful salad. You can have some gorgonzola, whatever you like on it. Uh, and this, this is a tremendous meal. So guys, hopefully you enjoy this. You make this up. You make this for your family, your friends, whoever you have in your life. Make this up. They'll love you for it. And I am going to see you sooner than later, guys. All right, everyone. Peace out.